Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Thank you, Evan. Today's guest is Mrs. Vicky Cayetano, President and Chief Executive Officer of the United Laundry Services, Inc., and former First Lady. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You're not actually from Hawaii, even though you look like you are. Uh, how did you end up here? Well, I was born in Manila, and my family immigrated to the mainland when I was about three and a half years old. Uh, my sister actually was the reason why we came to this country. Uh, she was discovered by Ed Sullivan. I think you're too young to remember, but back then, every Sunday night, people would gather around Ed Sullivan's show and watch it on TV. It was one of the, probably the most popular variety show. And uh, Ginny is a pianist. Ginny, too, is her name. And uh, she was discovered just kind of by accident uh, because a family friend who was visiting us from America heard the piano playing. He thought it was a, a, the radio and then he was shocked to see my sister was just all but five years old playing the piano and she played by ear and uh, and then he taped it and then sent it the old style you know via mail to uh, Ed Sullivan who then sponsored us to come over and that's how we came to this country. Uh, I've lived now in Hawaii for about 24 years and I think it's a perfect place to uh, raise family and have children here and I hope that our young people who have gone to the mainland to get experience or gone to other countries even will see that too as an incentive to come back and raise their children in this beautiful state. And you're from a large family of nine, is that correct? That's right. I'm number six in a family of nine of five boys and four girls. And, you know, looking back, I feel really grateful that we had a big family because uh, I think we learned a lot of social skills early on. Uh, we certainly learned about sharing. You know, when I look at my kids and the luxury they have of having their own bedroom, we never had such a luxury. We would share, we, there are like three bathrooms in our house for a family of nine children plus my parents and plus grandma often came and visited with us and she always brought her my aunt along because she had the bound feet so she couldn't really walk around without assistance so you know you think about it, there's a household of 13 people in one family but uh, it's really I, I, looking back I feel it's such a blessing it taught me a lot of lessons early on what's the story behind what brought you to Hawaii and what's kept you here uh, well, I think what's kept me here, well, what's brought me here, I think, is to, to see that, you know, coming from San Francisco, which is a great city, wonderful to visit, unless you live in the suburbs, I'm not sure the city's the best place to raise kids. And so I think, you know, Hawaii is really special. And I think having uh, had the privilege and the opportunity to become part of the community, uh, this is a place where friendships really go deep. Uh, where people will take the time out of the busy uh, life that we have, that we all have, to really value uh, those friendships and, and relationships with each other. Um, even for us as a company, we don't just see each other as workers, but we're associates, we're colleagues. You know, we cry together, we celebrate together, and it's very special. It's truly the gift of the indigenous people, the gift of Aloha. How do you manage your time on a daily basis and what is, do you have a typical day? Um, one of the books I read recently, which I think is just fabulous, is this book called Crazy Busy. And it kind of opened my eyes to say that although I may think I have it under control, uh, I'm not really setting the priorities as I would like them to be. I'm now 50, so you know, going into the second stage of my life, um, it's time to really appreciate uh, the, the priorities that, that one has in their life. I do like a certain amount of structure, so usually I start it off early, like around 4.35, and uh, uh, with a meditation time, and then I get on my elliptical and I like to work out while it's still quiet. And so I read this book, and it helped me just not just be idealistic about saying stop working, that's not realistic, but about realistic approaches to organizing your time better and how you view your priorities. And so even in, I think it's important to give back to the community because in giving you receive, but even that you need to manage what are your priorities. Otherwise you find yourself all over the place and so stretched out and overcommitted that you stop enjoying the work that you're doing. And I think the most important part of life is enjoying the journey. 
Coming up, Vicki shares her father's advice on how to be successful. If you uh, think like a man, act like a woman, and work like a horse, I think you'll do just fine. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.